pit stops can win and lose races. That's why the team spend a lot of time planning and practicing for every eventuality. How many people are involved in refueling and changing tyres? There's a lot of people in the pit stop. We have three guys per tyre, plus a front and a rear jackman. Three guys around the fuel hole. That's a lot of people in there, and really we can change tyres much quicker than we can uh, fuel the car. But it's not just about getting fuel in and the new tyres on the car. The strategy is very much a team effort. We have some uh, very clever people back at the factory and a dedicated strategy engineer working with us throughout the race. We do a lot of mathematical simulations uh, before the race, taking into account everybody's uh, race pace and what we think people are going to do and so on and so forth. But during the race, the final decision rests with the race engineers who are the guys on the radios uh, with the two drivers. It sounds straightforward, but what about when the unexpected happens? I think you have to react fast. So we try to structure plans for uh, every eventuality that we can anticipate. Cool. Okay, ready? Go! Alistair Gibson is Honda's race team chief mechanic and he's the man in charge of the lollipop during pit stops. No real pit stop is average and daily. Basically, it's my job uh, to get all the people ready in the pit lane when the car's coming down for its tyre change and fuel top up. Okay, let's try three seconds of fuel again. Now, let's try five seconds of fuel. Five, please. Basically, guide the car in, run to the front of the car, ensure all the jobs are done, and at the correct time when the fuel nozzle is disconnected and the pit lane is clear to lift the lollipop. That's a lot of responsibility for one person. I do get a bit of help. I get the team manager yelling traffic, traffic, traffic in my ear, which basically just helps me know what's in the pit lane. But at the end of the day, it is my responsibility not to send him into the fast lane in a lot of traffic. But what about in Bahrain? A scenario happened on Jensen's second stop when he left the pit lane and the Toyota was on his outside. Both cars went down the pit lane together. I saw Jano coming down and I thought, well, I'm not going to keep him because the pit lane is very wide and they both went down together and Jensen was on the inside and managed to get the place in the corner. Normally, you know when you're racing other teams, uh, if it's going to be close with another car and you can usually preempt um, the other car coming down the pit lane. <laughs> it's not all fun and games. <laughs> the pit lane is a very dangerous place to be. Accidents can happen. Have there been any close calls? Magni Corp two years ago was very close with the Renault. I was just in the wrong place and I sort of had to uh, dive away a bit. I'd rather be where I am in the pit stop. At least I'm on my feet and I can see what's happening. The car's coming in at 100 kilometers an hour. It's a lot uh, more difficult to move when you're on your knees. I'm on my feet. I can see what's going on. I'd rather be standing up.